Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I had someone ask me how I take church notes or something like that. Um, I remember I read the comment somewhere and I was just like, um, that would be a good idea to make a video of. Um, I'm not a super, like, I don't know, expert in taking notes at during like church services and stuff like that. But I thought it would be good idea to share it with you guys just in case you guys are interested in taking notes during your services. Um, I think it's always good to be taking notes just because, I mean, sometimes with some preachers it gets a little boring. And that's just me being honest. For me, sometimes it's hard, especially if it's service during the morning, like really early, like 8 a.m. I remember at the church that I was going to, um, we would sometimes have fasting services and those services would start at at eight and sometimes it would just be hard to stay up because our bodies want to go to sleep and a good way to stay awake and really be paying attention to the to the preaching or the teaching um, is by taking notes so my method of taking notes during services is actually inside my planner and this is my planner that I'm currently using um, it's my what's it called daily designer planner or something like that I forget day designer planner um <clears throat> it's the a5 and I've, I've done other videos of where i show you guys this planner and it's basically my church slash everyday planner um inside i have set it up in a new way it's not set up the way it was like a few videos back i think i uploaded my children's ministry planner or my church planner or something like that um but anyways, this is my planner that I'm currently using and this is how it looks now. I love how it says start each day with a grateful heart. Um, I don't know, I thought that was really good and it went perfectly with the color. This is actually just a card that I got in my planner package or whatever and I just cut it and then taped it on top of this. This um, These dividers were actually from Target. And then, of course, post-its and cute stuff like that. I'll give you guys a closer look after. Um, but I do have a section where I have notes. And that's where, basically, I have my notes from church. And I am not, like, I don't have a real system thing going. I kind of do, but not really. So this is my notes section. Um, some of these notes are pretty old, and they're the ones that I was taking in my other church. I do attend a new church now where my husband um, was going to and of course I'm not the best doodler or like sketch artist or whatever so my drawings are kind of crappy. I use stickers on each corner of the pages every time I take notes and that's just where I put the date. I recently also started putting whether it's on a Sunday or on a Thursday and it just helps me keep it organized I don't know and then on top I usually put the title of the message or teaching but if there isn't really a title that's given to you then i usually come up with it on my own or i just write the the main bible verse that's used for that lesson um and usually there's at least three points that each speaker makes and i usually use stickers i don't use too many stickers because of course i'm trying to write down all the information and if i focus too much on decorating i miss i miss it so um i usually add them later or i add them ahead of time just so to the main points and i usually write any thoughts in bubble like those bubble clouds and everything else is in black i try to keep it a little simple and just add a little color so it doesn't look too plain and boring and towards the end that's where i write the main message or, or a quote that the person said that I really like so at my new church right now our pastor actually does a great job because he puts it on PowerPoint like th the three main points that he touches and he has a name for each one so that helps me a lot because I can write it down and then I just write down anything extra for each one of those bullet points but that always helps so if in your church they give you those points then it's kind of makes it easier but if not you have to be writing them on your and of own. course there's moments where i will miss something and sometimes i have to go back or if not just leave it blank for next time that i am able to like somehow fill it in but if not i'm not too harsh on myself in case i do miss something um it does bother me though and 
my notes are also bilingual some stuff are in spanish and some things are in english just because sometimes the preachings are in spanish and so if i can i translate it on my own but if not then i just write it down the way it is and either way i'm the one reading my notes so i understand them so that was it you guys i hope it was a little helpful or you guys can get your own ideas of how to take notes um, on your own. Um, I think it's great taking notes, especially when your pastors ask you or they refer back to their preachings and in case you weren't really paying attention, then you won't know. But if you have your notes, you just kind of look back on it to refresh your mind and remember what was being taught. And uh, I mean, it's also exciting when you kind of feel like you make connections between different preachers and stuff like that or like God's trying to speak to you. He can also speak to you in that way and it's just a good way to just learn and make sure that you kind of retain the information. So hopefully you guys find this interesting. Also if you guys have any tips on how you guys take notes or any um, suggestions of what we could do as well um, I'm open to them just leave your comments down below I always read them I'm sorry if I don't always reply because um, sometimes I see them through my phone and then I forget to go on my computer and reply because I can't reply through my phone somehow I don't know I just I, I, I forget or I, I need to update it or something like that but I do read them so yeah um, I'll see you guys on my next video bye